Over the course of just two weeks, the County of Santa Clara coordinated the installation of 30 shelters for unhoused families in the San Jose community, all of which will be powered by two solar energy microgrid systems. To build a traditional facility on this site would have taken years. We've been working with Santa Clara County for about three years. Part of our work is really about trying to find housing for the unhoused in our community. And our newest project that we're really excited about is Casitas Esperanza, Tiny Homes of Hope. We started researching to try to find livable, easy to install homes. And here we are with the Pallet Homes. Pallet builds safe and dignified shelter communities for people experiencing homelessness. We're a rapid and scalable option for cities and counties that are looking to move people off the streets quickly and into something that is safe and stable, acting as a stepping stone into permanent housing. We want this to be a welcoming environment till they find permanent housing, which we believe everyone in this county deserves. The specific challenge that Santa Clara County was running into was a lack of reliable utility power, which was gonna take somewhere in the ballpark of six to eight months and was gonna be prohibitively expensive for this 100 bed facility. We were thrilled to build this village in partnership with Box Power, who in a matter of hours versus months was able to deliver the electricity needed to power every single one of these shelters. These boxes that you're seeing installed and the ones that are on site now are specifically designed with the pallet project in mind. Our turnkey solar plus battery backup systems as well as uh, propane and diesel generators all incorporate into a 20-foot shipping container, so rapid renewable power anywhere, anytime. We're going to be able to minimize the environmental and carbon footprint of this project overall. And a huge added bonus is also that everything's going to be able to be mobile. So both the pallet shelters as well as our units can be packed up relatively quickly and move to the next location as the county determines what this land is going to be used for. Each shelter has folding bunk beds, mattresses, heat and air conditioning for personal climate control, storage under the beds and on the shelves. Everybody has their own personal cabin, but it's important to also provide a congregate space for families to build that sense of community where they can mingle with each other. This will be all families on this site, so we're looking to create community here. As a social enterprise, I really like that we're focusing on projects for historically marginalized communities, and this is no exception. This is a direct impact we're gonna be able to have on folks experiencing homelessness. Our team treats homelessness like the emergency that it is. At the end of the day, it doesn't do us any good to talk about it. We need to get our boots on the ground, and that's why we're here today, is to build these shelters and provide people with something that's safe and dignified.